<laughs> All right, the shoes are off, the mics are hot. We officially live in the room. This is the Atlanta late night show. With the chest meat out. <laughs> chest meat out. Chest meat out. In the fantasy league draft, he was the number one pick of the city boys. <laughs> Let's go. He's been wearing hoochie daddy shorts since the fall, so the ladies could join the tribe. He's fully stabbed, but he's always looking at applications. Mr. Poppy Chulo's in the building, yeah, aka Wild. Clap yeah. it up for Wild. Yeah. On the stool. On the stool in the back by the tree. Everything in his lifestyle is centered around luxury, but he takes girls out on Groupon dates because he works smarter, not harder. <laughs> he bought, He's the only person I ever know to buy liquor for the party with food stamp cards and get away with it. <laughs> he what still sells gas, but now it's digital. Give it up for Dan. <laughs> yeah. Now, he serves as his own hype man on every track on the intro. Fan club facts. He showers in his mask, but he only takes the glasses off because they fog up. Everybody say it with me. I have you Barlos is in a building. Okay, show's not a show until I say something problematic. And so, with that being said, problematic questions. Do sugar daddies ruin women for real relationships? Mm. Say that one more time. Do sugar daddies ruin Real relationships for women. Can we talk about this? Go for it. It's, <laughs> it's all, it's all y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is this a safe space? <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe that space. Prove, but that's <laughs> not a safe <laughs> space. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, all the things I had to endure listening to women, <laughs> y'all can say what y'all want. I don't think y'all so. Y'all see, I don't think so. Hey, man, hey, man, Johnny so. Depp won the trial. Like, y'all could talk. So. It's a safe space for me. I don't think so. I don't think so. It could for some. It depends. Though. Yeah, it just depends. It just I think it depends on the female. I think everything goes off perception. Yeah. And dependent. Because that's true. Like, because we talked about this earlier. Like, all right, let's keep something right quick. Okay, we talked about this earlier. So, people be like, oh, if a dude has sex with a dude, he gay. But if a female has sex with a female, she's not gay. It, it's not gay for them only because you think a female, you think it's on soft every time. So they get a pass for that. But, like, she's still gay. So, like, but then somebody else's perception that may not be that. Okay, so, boom, moving forward. You got some dudes who will cheat all day long, but as soon as that girl cheat, they shut down. Because it was different. It was different. Because they did something emotional. It might, and they did. They, they reacted off emotions, but it's like, bro. That may fuck that person up. They may never trust another person again. So, yeah, it do depend. Like, that's why I said, nah, it don't really matter because everybody going to have their own perception to, and opinion on it anyway. Like, me, it don't bother me because I ain't tripping all that shit. Yeah. How about you guys? Say it nah. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that totally. Like, I mean, it's definitely based on perception in, like, every every situ- like every situation because yeah. there's going to be some girls that, like, they're going to be comfortable with that. And then having that experience is gonna change them when they get back and deal with somebody that's more um, at that level, or you know what I'm saying. Somewhere, somebody that they can look in and just be like, "Well, I had these things before that somebody was just willing to give me, and I didn't have as much commitment." Well, yeah. shit, fuck that. I, I don't want to do this no more. I'd rather have a sugar daddy. But then there's other people who just like might use that situation. To come up on that nigga for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then so, go back and find and plus, I'm somebody that's that like her that she's equally more yoked with and then kind of move in that lane mm-hmm. rightfully so. I mean, so, so with that being said, what makes a man or a woman turn savage? Life. Perception. Facts. Pain. Yourself. Trauma, experience. Oh, it's trauma? Yeah. And then yourself because it's your perception. I think everything, is, I think the only enemy is yourself. At the end of the day, like that man speak to his brand. We all wrestling shit. with demons. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, like we all gonna go through things. We all gonna have trials and tribulations and like goddamn temptations in life and shit. You can't always put other people actions on you. Sometimes that shit ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? But it gonna take you being real self aware to understand. Mm. Goddamn. And forgive, and it just depends on where you at in your life type shit. You know? I'm glad you said the word forgive. What does forgiveness look like when a person's done something in society or people in a family don't necessarily forgive what they've done? Like every time they do something, um, I give it an example. Um, 
Kodak Black being on Kendrick Lamar's album stirred up a lot of people getting mad at Kendrick Lamar because, you know, of, of Kodak's case. When Kobe died, you had a sector of people that were just talking about his rape case, even though he was found innocent. Like, sometimes the first thing people think of when a person name when a person's name is m- mentioned is their lowest moment in life. But some people, Chris who Brown, are, will be forever a woman. Who are, these, who are these people? Society. Who is, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who society. is society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, why okay. he said he come back to, you know, you as an individual. Hmm. I, I think that's why we mentioned they before that it come back to you as an individual because, like, when you look at society's perspective, you just got to be strong minded enough as a, they gonna an do that individual. Be, that all great. Exactly, they Everybody. gonna lie about your story. Mm-hmm. They not gonna say how great this show was yeah. when you long gone. Mm-hmm. They gonna got them say true. when we ain't here to tell you how great LeBron and such such were. We they still gonna tell you how great Larry Bird was. Yeah. So it's up to us. We 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 got to control our own narratives. Like even what you speaking mm-hmm. on the Kendrick situation. That may be something else because of the context of his album. What he's speaking might might not be what the powers that be want to be pushed right now. Gotcha. What you got on there, Barlow? Nah, you just all y'all just made me think of something and that ain't he be kicking my ass or so something side <laughs> So like, boom, all right, cool. Lowest moments. Everybody raised their hand quick if you had a lowest moment before. The human. It's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, perfect and perfect. Dope. So Kodak did that. Okay, cool. Kendra admitted the cheating. Okay, cool. Y'all motherfuckers be at work. Like, for real at work. Got a real girlfriend, real boyfriend. However you want to do it. Kids, whatever. Wife, husband, whatever. But at work, you got a work husband. Or work wife. Like, y'all mad at Kodak and Kendrick about that little shit. But if you step out your shoes and then just watch your own movie for a minute. And you like, I get what they say. Oh, he just, yeah, nigga, but... You try to judge somebody, look at your nigga, look, look at your hand right quick. Mm-hmm. What you got mm-hmm. going on? Everybody hands dirty. Everybody hand. And I'm not mm-hmm. saying that's right, so everybody keep being dirty. I'm just saying, like, I get it, but it's entertainment. People I gonna have something to say. That's the whole point of social media. That's the whole point of YouTube. That's the whole point of being here. Cause somebody can watch them blah, like, oh, bro, whatever. But just remember, nigga. Yo, so when the last time your soul took a bath, my boy, my girl, mm-hmm. how you gonna do it? Like, mm-hmm. come on, let, let remember that. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, yeah, one of the really shit I done, I think I done heard my dog just he told me coming into this year that I really just been like trying to hone in on. He was like, bro, you will never get to your full, like to who you really are until you are able to see yourself outside of yourself and the way that people view you. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. that allowed you to move in it's a ways that's, it. you know what I'm saying? A, it's a, it's a, a way it, to, you have the way we view ourselves, the way other uh, people view us yeah. and then the way we think people view us exactly so a master of all i mean being able to have it's, it takes a certain level of self-awareness to master all that exactly and i mean it's not the most it's not the easiest thing to look at in the mirror when mm-hmm. we look at our dirt like when we metaphorically talking about look at mm-hmm. we look at the dirt in our own hands it's not necessarily the easiest thing to either get clean or just look at because we got we know the story behind it mm-hmm. how many times have you ruined the situation and they still it still kept the relationship alive, whether it's an intimate relationship, friendship, um, somebody in the family or work or business relationship. How many times have you have you salvaged the situation after you've done something that would otherwise sabotage it? That I did I, I did something? Yeah. What you mean set with it like? Um, cheating on a woman. Um, you saying set with it before you told them, or what you mean, like? No, no, no. Like, like you sabotaged something, or you could have did something that you probably would have cut somebody off for. If your girl cheated on you, most guys say they done with it. Um, if if a person's not there for them, not a person's not there for you when they, when you uh, call for them, you probably like, no, nah, you don't have my back. I'm gonna cut you off. Sometimes we can't be everything to everybody when they need it. And we fall short in some areas in, at the at time. So have you ever had a situation where you had to look at it like, damn, I messed up? And what is that relationship staying at now? Uh, yeah, I done messed up before, but I don't think. Relationship or friendship? See, I'm trying to think. Cause they like, they don't, I'm going to think about it. When think it when yeah, when okay. did I go here? I'm, uh, I mean, I think just in particular, like, with any of, I guess, my 
faults or things that I have to take accountability for now. It's <coughs> like, I, you know, one of the main factors is I don't allow, re- like, regret to set in. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's when shit's going too far. You know what I'm saying? Because when you start to regret shit or want to change things you can no longer control, it what is regret? Innocent. Something you wish you never did it? Or um, just... Just, I think... But that's that's the thing. Everybody can internalize it differently because mm. you just got to look at the diff- different factors that play to you ultimately feeling how you did at the end of the day. Okay. You know, so... Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, bro. Oh, no. I, so, I was just saying when you look at everything, it, it sets in in, in its own kind of way. So, me personally, I just feel like approaching it in a more manly sense of, like, dealing with shit now more in a... Like, as it happens, and those that I feel necessary, like, and feel like it's uh, warranted for, then I allow myself to be more vulnerable with them. And then other people are just like, real, bro, like, that's what happens. Like, life happens, fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you hmm. got the bad you got the bad side of me that, realistically, you got coming just because it was due to for that, you know what I'm saying, for that reason. And not to say that I don't ask for some type of piece of forgiveness if I have that opportunity to, but if I don't, then sometimes it's like, oh, I'm not going to go out my way to try to change something that don't matter to me. You know what hmm. I mean? Like, you just got to be you realistic know. about that, in my opinion. Yeah, sure. I, done, I done cheated before. I done, um, but the only reason I say mine be things that could have sabotaged it, but I wouldn't say that it always, it always sabotaged because I'm still cool with it. Like, did, did the relationship end because of the cheating? Oh, you got to come back for the next part. We really get into it. <laughs>